Uh, just starting slow and I'll put my voice up by the time I'm done. Super Jack. Pat loved laying naked, wild Indian summer, straw field sun. It felt like roasting must feel, corn and toasted husk over coal. On the hottest day, fire devoured the hillside behind his house, flying the short mile up, over, and on to other hillsides. Pat found an orphaned hawkling, hopping through the smoldering char, hand-fed and raised it through a gentle winter. And when he taught Superjet to fly off his arm, he used hot dogs to lure the talons back to his wrist. Superjet learned to dive and grapple hot dogs from Pat's hands, out of his mouth, and away from startled strangers visiting, then drop to a faraway rock and shred away the casing with hooked onyx. By late summer, the Calistoga foothills were once again ripe for fire. Superjet broadened and explored his territory, striking suddenly any backyard barbecue for miles around, <laughs> snatching hot dogs right off the grill, shrieking through birthday parties and picnics. Pat loved laying naked, watching his liberated hawk above, rising on the only clouds to survive the heat generated by boiling geyserville sulfurous spouts from deep within distant mountains. And when the hawk spied Pat's penis from a quarter mile aloft and dove talon first onto his body, Pat learned how hot dogs must feel, torn from the warm hands of little children. <laughs>